hi everybody very good evening to you so what's up today we are going to talk about how to use the VLOOKUP in VBA but we have a situation here very interesting situation many of you have raised this question that they are not able to use the VLOOKUP if it is to be looked up in a different workbook so let us go and talk about this my name is Ajay Parmar and I'm an instructor you're watching youtube.com slash c slash Ajay Kumar Parmar we have got 600 videos on Excel, Excel VBA, Access and Access VBA. This is the playlist. Just have a look and watch all these videos in this sequence. Okay. Let's go and talk about now today's question. Okay. So we have a situation here guys. See, I have got here some names and this is my book one, right? This is my main file and I want to get all these scores using my this test file okay and i have got here in this column g to h i have got all these you know the names right so this is just a dummy data i'm just going to explain you the concept now when i click on this macro i have created here a macro see what is going to happen i go and click on this you see that the macro is going to retrieve all the information you're going to get all the information so you get all the marks of these people you know from this test file you can go and cross check the thing so for example uh, let's talk about Ajay so what is the score of Ajay it's 44 and uh, it shows here as 44 right that's how it is and if I see the Brenda what is the score of Brenda so Brenda got 34 and I think that's what we have got here right so if I go and change anything here let's say I change this to um, maybe I change the score of Brenda to let's say 99 okay now I go and run this program again guys let's see what's gonna happen okay there we go now you can see that you got here Brenda 99 so the score is updating we look up as working now now there was a video where I talked about how to use the VLOOKUP in VBA but within the sheet and you guys appreciated that video so much thank you so much I, I get a lot of lot of clicks there likes also and somebody then you know tried the VLOOKUP on the different workbooks so today I'm here talking about that you use the same concept now you see that guys what is the main thing you want to understand here now this is your test file okay this is my test file let me just go and close this now what you have to do is so I say let's just say now please understand whenever you want to use the VLOOKUP with a different Excel file what you have to do is you go to the program I have already created a program to save the time very small code you can see here okay now I have already talked about these loops how the loops work right but however I will still go and talk about this and um, before I do that let me just go and remove this if error yeah that's how it is okay I was using for that that for some another reason okay now see what is my plan now what I'm doing is first of all if you have to use this VLOOKUP how you use the VLOOKUP you simply use the worksheet function and in the worksheet function use the VLOOKUP right so what we are doing here is I'm saying that run this loop 4 to 8 times simple for next loop I have applied here okay and run this loop 4 to 8 times why 4 to 8 times guys because my data starts with you know 4th row if you can see my data is starting from the 4th row right so if my data starts from the 4th row then I go and pick up this value okay I just uh, show you this let me go and just put it to the left move it to the left yeah so now you can see here so what we are saying is that yeah, this is my lookup value which is range E1 uh, E4 sorry this is my E4 so here you will have a value you know that's how you use the VLOOKUP isn't it you just go and use this VLOOKUP like this and go to the table column number and then the exact match this is the same thing I have done here worksheet function use the VLOOKUP what you want to look up range di i is your variable which keep on changing right so first i will pick up d4 and then d5 d6 now this is the important part let uh, le let us leave it for a while this is your basically data which is coming from you know different workbook but look at this third argument this is the column number now the column remains same which is two and the exact match is also same every time when the loop is going to work so i will have this i keep on changing four five six seven eight you have a A1, A4, A5, A6, A7 and every time you have a lookup called D4, D5, D6 and so on. Okay. Now what I'm doing is you just need to say open the workbook. Whatever the workbook you have got it open, make sure you go and declare that workbook as an active workbook. So I have declared my WP 
the object variable as the active verb book. So what will happen? WB will be registered, you know, will be noted in the memory of VB as a test file. Okay, that's it. And then, so once, so when you go and click on this button, let me show you this quickly. So let's say I click on this VLOOKUP. You see that this workbook gets open. Now when this workbook gets open, we make this workbook as active workbook. Now in order to come back to the, you know, original workbook, we, I'm writing this, this workbook dot activate. Now here the loop will start working. Okay. So now here we will have our loop run and this loop will run four to eight times. So the first time when this runs, this is going to be E4. So in the E4, my lookup, you know, will look up this Ajay where in wb dot sheet one dot range g1 to h12 now this is the important part everybody who has written this question to me everybody or people who are watching the vlookup for the first time please understand this this is very important what i'm doing generally when you use the vlookup within the worksheet you just go and write range g1 to h12 you don't write anything when you go and write when you use the vlookup in a different sheet you go and write sheets and then the sheet name or you can use the index like I'm using one and dot range G1 to H12. But when you go and use a different workbook, you have to use the workbook name. All right. And this is actually happens in the VLOOKUP also, isn't it? So when you go and use the VLOOKUP here like this, what happens when you go to the new workbook file? When you go and select the data like this, you see that? That's how the data comes, right? You So let me select this data. I can't select this data because my code is on the debug mode. But you see the workbook name comes, the sheet name comes and the range comes. So the same concept we are using here in the VBA. Now what is your this test file? I don't want to write this entire file. Okay, that's why very smartly I have declared WB as active workbook. So WB dot, WB is what? If you go and just go and write here WB dot. WB is your workbook which is test and it's coming from the desktop. So you just go and write your sheets and then go and write the sheet name or the index whatever. I have only one sheet there so I have written here the index called one. So when you go and write this you see that your VLOOKUP will start working and that's how guys we can create this program. Right? Simple. You got here all the numbers. So next time now you I have cleared this doubt for everybody in this video within the sheet or maybe within the workbook but with the you know in a different sheet and the third condition if you're using a video cup in a different workbook so this particular thing comes in the three variations and what are those variations all right so this is the first variation. What is the second variation? This is the second variation. When you are using the VLOOKUP in the same sheet, not in the same sheet, in the same workbook, but within a different sheet. So you go and write here the sheet name, right? So you go write sheet name or index, whatever. I mean, sheet name, okay? And when it is about the within the sheet, you don't have to write anything because then we understood. We just go and write the VLOOKUP and then VLOOKUP range, what you want to look up and then you go write range G1 colon h12 so these are the three possibilities i don't think so there is any third possibility but if it is there i would love to hear from you all right guys so guys thank you so much we are hitting the one ten thousand subscriber number also pretty soon i am the hope you like this uh, you know you're going to like this video and share the channel videos with other people as well invite more and more people and if you have any still have any question please do ask me I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Have a fantastic learning.